Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another reading, which is going to be for whoever needs it. Top of the reading is going to be for all of you out there who are in no communication and no contact with your person, and you really want to know if your person is missing you. Yes or no? We're going to find out the answer to that. We will also be adding messages from them. We will also be adding oracle cards as well. So stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages which are resonating with you in your situation and leave the rest. Uh, for personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So yeah, let's dive into the read and let's find out whoever it is that you have on your mind that you really want to know if they are missing you. Let's find out. Yes or so no. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Seven of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. This person is definitely thinking about you. They want to come forward towards you. They want to uh, make an offer to you. They want to uh, bring you something stable. Uh, it will be different for different people. They want to share something with you for some of you as well. There could be a good news that they want to share. There could be, uh, you know, something happening in their family life that they want to share with you. Uh, but yes, this person really does miss you. They do have you on your uh, on their mind, but at the same time, I feel like you know this person. Um, if if you ask me if this person misses you, then why don't they reach out to you? Because they know what you want with them, and that's the only reason why this person has not been showing up until unless they are ready to give you what you want with them, they will not show up. Deep down, they really want to come forward, talk to you, spend some time with you. But at the same time, not the way you want, not the way you desire with them. So maybe that's the reason why they're like, uh, you know, planning to reach out to you. But then they, they, they want to be sure that they want this with you. Um, but yes, this person really does miss you. Um, maybe, maybe they are not taking any action towards you anytime soon. But they definitely will. Eventually, they will. Um, it might take them time. Uh, they are contemplating, they are deciding, they are thinking. Let's see more cards here. Yes, right now they have their guards off. They are, you know, not taking any action towards you. They want to, but they are holding themselves back because of the same fear that they don't have much to offer to you. Let's see more cards here. They want things to change with you though. It's more like, you know, they want uh, you back in their life, but maybe on their terms and conditions where maybe they don't have to commit to you, maybe they're where they don't have to be with you uh, or marry you or to take things to the next level with you. Maybe that's not something what they are ready for right now. Um, but yes, this person really wished to have a change in this connection so they could come back together with you. Let's see more cards here. Yes, they, they, they are not anybody else's person. To be very honest, they have a sense of belonging to you. But until and unless that is so strong that they, are, they feel prepared, they are not going to come forward. Uh, let's see more cards here. The tower. And in the deck we do have eight of cups. I feel like, you know, ultimately your person is going to realize that this is the one and only solution to the issue that you guys are having right now. Maybe for some of you, you might have been going on and off with your person. Maybe this, uh, this no communication is temporarily for some of you. Maybe for others of you, maybe you have been in no communication for quite some time. But again, the reason would have been the same for everyone out there. Your person is not somebody who is ready to commit and you are so sure that this is what you want. You don't want anything less than that. So that could have been the major issue in the situation. I feel like, you know, your person's attitude uh, and their, you know, their mind is going to change. Uh, but again, before they do that, they will have to understand that this is the only solution left because they want you back, but they don't see what is the one thing which is the missing link which can give you both what you both desire it's more like you know you you are going in circles uh, on and off on and off on and off repeating the same cycle all over again being together and then pulling apart being together pulling apart for the very same reason so it's more like a uh, you know situation where you both are so habitual of this on and off you know that you guys are going to come back together you know that you know eventually it is going to happen but at the same time when you come back together you never fix the issues there which is the reason why you have been having this on and off now i feel like you know your person is not coming forward um because they know they they uh, they will have to give you what you want but at the same time they will come forward to give you exactly that because they would know that there is no other way to have you back 
So I feel like you know the situation is going to change. Let's see one more card on that eight of cups. We do have eight of pentacles. The person will understand that they will have to make the uh you know the uh, the step uh, forward there to to give you what you want with them because otherwise uh, like i said earlier it's, it's almost the same energies eight of cups eight of pentacles and three of wands they will wait but then when they don't see things moving forward they will have to take that one step towards you so that's very evident uh let's see what are the messages of your person for you let's see what do they want you to know what are their messages for you they do miss you but uh yes right now holding themselves back uh for some time at least let's see what are their messages for you what are their messages for you what are their messages for you <sighs> nobody can ever love me like you do i value you this person really likes the way you love them for sure and uh they know that nobody in this world can love them and they value that maybe they never said that maybe they never maybe they never make you feel that they value you or your love but they do uh let's see more cards here i know i messed up everything they know that they have messed up everything and uh but at the same time they want you back as well they want you know i feel like you know they they are not going to give in to this connection until unless they are 100 percent ready for it i am starting to understand our connection so being a part is something which is going to make them understand the connection uh fully and completely which they might have not been able to earlier let's see what else are the messages of your person what else they want you to know what else is it that they want you to know you both are addicted to each other i feel like you know the addictions uh to each other plus uh the way you both want uh, you know you might be you mo maybe maybe you both are very controlling in nature like you know you want things your way they want things their way no one is uh, ready to uh, give into the connection as in like you know where you talk through things and you know make things work i feel like maybe you both are so stubborn that way let's see more cards here don't pressure me please so i feel like you know they feel like pressure of being uh you know in a committed relationship with you which they don't want right now so again they want you to know that they don't want to feel pressured but at the same time i feel like you know, if you are not giving uh, your person is not giving you that um they are not going to give you the chance this time around so um i feel like you know if they are not giving you that you are not going to give them a chance so maybe maybe your person is uh again like i said i feel like you know, your person will have to give into this connection uh otherwise i don't see you giving them a chance otherwise when the time is right we will be back together so your person believes that you know when the time is right they will be back together or maybe you also believe the same so maybe you have kind of you know given up or surrendered to the divine uh timing as well because uh you have a strong faith in this connection you know that you and them are meant to be um would you give me another chance to fix things up this person at times wonder as well like you know would you give them a chance or not because this person really wants to be with you but at the same time uh they need some time to figure things out for them let's see one last message card from them and then we will take oracle cards what else do they want you to know i'm focused on other things so give me time so this person right now at least not ready for this connection the way you want them to be giving into this connection so they want <clears throat> some more time so just let them have the more time and once they are done with that once they have made their decision they will be coming towards you and only you why because they already belong to you that's what they feel deep down let's see the oracle guidance conclusions are within reach um i feel like you know it's it's something you already know you both know what is going to happen as a uh, as an outcome of the whole situation eventually you guys are going to come together work through your fears for some of you you really have to work through your fears it can be your person's energy as well maybe they have to work through their fears of commitment but at the same time maybe you also have to work through your fears uh so you could have the uh you know uh your person back in your life quicker like you know if you have fears like you know what if it doesn't happen what if this and that of that if you have those kind of fears maybe you need to work on your confidence and you need to have a strong faith and believe that your person is not going to leave you ever why because the love that you have for them nobody else in this world can love them that way and they can never risk losing you so you need to have that firm faith around it confidence is your key to success that's exactly what i was just talking about so that card came up so last card let's see what else is the oracle guidance for you let's see 
codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like, you know, you you being addicted to your person and uh, the way you want things to pace up, maybe that needs to change. Maybe you're so addicted to your person that at times you feel like, you know, you want them 24 seven. In this, in, in, in uh, you know, maybe when it comes to your person, maybe they are not ready for that kind of connection. So again, uh, you know, addiction, having addiction to each other is good if you both feel the same for each other. But if it's one-sided, it's, it's, it does get toxic. So make sure it's not getting that uh, kind of a situation for you. And even if it has become so, you can always pull away slightly and uh, work on your inner fears, build your confidence, and come stronger as a, as a stronger person into the situation where you know your person is more addicted to you as you are to them. So work on that as well using a uh, law of attraction techniques will help you get what you want with your person as well. Now for some of you, your addictions could be uh, like maybe you're so obsessed with your person and the way the situation evolves, you sometimes kind of, you know, uh, lose the balance in your life. You know, maybe you start obsessing over your person so uh, to the point where you or where you stop doing other things and you stop, you know, just focusing on your person, which also kind of, you know, you start having high expectations from your person. You need to have other people in your life. You need to have other things to do in your life so you don't get so obsessed with that one person because that could also be affecting your love life. So make sure you are not doing these mistakes. But yeah, that's the uh, read for today. I hope it was of help and wish you all the best. And uh, I will see you in the next read that I will do. Take care. Uh, bye.